Hey, what is up my fellow cynics? I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on showing you how you can play Doom 3 in VR on either the Oculus Quest or Quest 2. And it's actually a pretty simple process and I am gonna to try to speed through this, but also try to keep it easy to follow. So first things first, before we get started, you will need to be able to have a computer that you can plug your Oculus into. Now you don't need it to run the game, but initially to get the VR version of Doom 3, you do need to be able to plug your quest into a computer. And then you are also gonna need to download SideQuest if you don't have it set up already. Now, if you don't know what that is, I have a very thorough tutorial that I'm gonna link right in the video up top here along with in the description. So you're gonna wanna pause right now, get that ready, and it's gonna walk you through everything that you're gonna need to make this as easy as possible. So go check that out and come back if you need to. And then one last thing, if you do like this video and you enjoy Doom 3 in virtual reality and you want to get more games converted over to VR like this, Head over to doom3quest.com. It actually uh, is just a, a website that kind of shows you a little bit about it and you can actually donate on there. So if you want the creator of this to be able to hopefully create more stuff like this in the future, definitely consider donating to them as I'm sure it helps out a lot. And finally, you do have to actually purchase Doom 3 on Steam. So it's $4.99, nothing crazy, but you do have to actually purchase the actual game in order to convert it over to VR. So go ahead and purchase that. And once that is completed, make sure to install the game if you haven't already. All right, so our next up, we actually have to hop over to side quests. So once again, if you skip that step on accident, you have to get side quests set up and have your headset plugged into it on your computer before any of this will work. So once again, it's down in the description down below if you need that. And pretty simple, you're just gonna type in Doom 3 on the search bar up top here. And then up on the top right here, you're just gonna hit install the headset. And on the bottom here, it will say all tasks complete once it's downloaded. Now this doesn't actually take very long to do, so uh, it's already actually done. So now we're actually gonna unplug our Oculus Quest and put it on. All right, so once we're in the Oculus Quest, you're gonna go to your apps. And then up at the top right where you see all, you'll click right on that and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, the unknown sources, and then you're gonna see Doom 3 Quest. We're gonna click right on that and hit allow permissions. Now this isn't actually gonna get the game running right now, but what it did is it actually put the Doom 3 Quest folder in the actual Oculus folder for when we plug it back into the computer. So that is gonna be our next step, is to plug our Quest back into the computer. And just a quick thing, if it's not showing up on your computer, every time you plug it into your computer, you do have to put the headset back on and just allow uh, a couple things that pop up on the screen. So allow the USB debugging, and uh, there's one other message that will pop up that you'll have to hit allow on. So first things first, you're gonna go to the Windows C drive, and then you actually have to find the Steam Doom 3 profile. So the most common place that it's probably gonna be saved at is under 86 here. And then you should be able to see Steam right here, double click that, and then you will be able to do Steam apps, I believe, common, and then that's gonna be your list of games. So Doom 3 right here. So what you're gonna do is click on that and then there's gonna be a, a folder at the top that says base. So go into that. And then we actually need to copy all of the files ending in PK4. So just click all of those ending in PK4. You can skip all the rest. And then we're just gonna copy that. And then we have to actually go to our Oculus folder. So once again, make sure your Oculus is plugged in and you allowed approval on it. So you'll see the Quest 2 right here most likely, and then you can go to internal storage. And then you should be able to see Doom 3 Quest right here, which is the whole purpose of us going into the Quest a couple steps back and just trying to start the, the VR game. Puts that folder there. And then you'll see a base folder here, and then just paste all those PK4 files into that folder. All right, and once that's done, you can go ahead and unplug the Oculus from the computer once again and throw that puppy back on. And then once again, go to your apps. And then if you're not still on unknown sources, uh, that's where you're gonna wanna go. So you once again might still be on the all category here. You're gonna have to go down to unknown sources and then click Doom 3 Quest. And there you go. The game has officially been side loaded onto your Oculus Quest and you can play Doom 3 in virtual reality. Now, since this game wasn't originally made for VR, you are gonna wanna do something before you start playing. So you're gonna wanna go to VR options here and then performance. And the, the menus are a little clunky. Like I said, this was, I think, one dude that made this whole mod, so. Uh, and then right here, you're gonna see Quest 1 and Quest 2 uh, settings that it recommends. 
So I would just go through and set it to these uh, this, these settings. Um, this is gonna be the smoothest performance that you're gonna get out of the game. So uh, just, I'd stick to around these settings that they offer. So once you do that, then hit close and boom, new game. Let's do recruit since uh, I'll probably suck. That is gonna wrap up my video though today guys. I hope you were able to find this helpful. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm more than happy to do more tutorials showing how to get older games that have been converted over to VR. Other than that, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop those down in the comment section as well. Also, feel free to go check out our social media, which we always link down below in the description as well, along with our link to our brand new Discord server. So if you wanna have a good time over on Discord, post some funny memes, get some information on the channel, that is the place to do it. So go check it out. Also, we are just a couple hundred subscribers away from getting to our 3,000 sub milestone and we will be doing a giveaway on the channel once we hit that. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do that if you want a chance of winning our giveaway. Other than that, if you want to see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to sub to Digital Cynics. Peace.